Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. Our headlines for you today. The well, the uh, Prime Minister has promised that international leaders will continue to pressure the Taliban to ensure people who, to ensure that people who want to leave Afghanistan can do safely. In a draft resolution that was opted on uh, yesterday evening, the UN Security Council also urged the Taliban not to allow Afghanistan to become a base for terrorism. Our chief political... Um, if you're going by a newspaper day mm. of analysis of, of what it means and what sort of questions it leaves um, to be asked and answered as well. Yeah, and there's a, there's a bit of interest as well if you're into uh, TV theme tunes. Have you seen this today, Louise? Um, because more than 23,000... And classic FM listeners and Radio Times readers have voted for their favourite TV score. So I'm assuming they're all classical, because uh, there's a few I'd throw in here. But Inspector Morse. It goes in at number one. The top, which is, that's um, the one that goes beep, beep, beep. I knew, beep. I knew you'd know that. Oh, yeah. My favourite, uh, which yeah. is Doctor Who, only gets in at number 13. Oh, yeah. That used uh, to make me feel nervous, the music. I'll give you the top ten. Poldark at ten, Pride and Prejudice at nine, Brideshead Revisited, Van der Valk, uh, Band of Brothers. That's a beauty, Band of Brothers. That's one of the all-timers. Uh, Wolf Hall at five, Game of Thrones four, Downton Abbey at three, uh, The Wand in Line and uh, Inspector Morse at number the one. The Anise in Line. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, Anise <laughs> in Line. You're too young. How old is that? Is that an old one? <laughs> Sorry. Old. Yeah, well, I, my, the ones I would throw in there, yeah. right, um, the classic... If you stick a pony in my pocket, only fools and horses. That, that's got to be obviously number one. Super grand, remember that? No. Nope. Stand back, Superman, Iceman, Spider-Man, <laughs> Batman and Robin too. It's, it's got the greatest line in it ever, that, when it goes, I think it goes, um, she's got more, no, hold on, she's got more bottle than a dog with rabies. She's got, no, she's got more bite than a dog with rabies. She's got more bottle than United Dairies. I mean, that, it, oh that's classic Oh, my, your lyrics. memory is just so Josh's extraordinary. Giants. Oh. Honestly. Come on. He's, you're wasted Make a here. proper list. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is quite fun. This is about the Rolling Stones. Um, and, you know, there are super fans, and then there yeah. are super, super fans. Um, this man, he's Matt, and he's spent millions, apparently, millions of pounds on memorabilia of his Rolling Stones idols. Um, he's seen the Rolling Stones 200 times. Um, he's from London. He's Lee, Matt Lee, and he's the great, apparently the greatest Rolling Stones superfan. And to prove it, holds the Guinness World Record for having the biggest collection of Stones memorabilia. I mean, that is proper dedication. I know you weren't here last week, but some lovely tributes to Charlie Watts. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was really, it was really lovely to see how sort of people in the industry fully not unappreciated his talent, but just the sort of the person he was and what he brought to the Stones and, and how he was respected in the wider industry. It's fantastic, actually. And one other story um, which is still being talked about is the return of Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United, which, I mean, it is... Which did even make the news it, in my house. It, it, <laughs> did it really? Did it get up there, even on holiday week? It was incredible, and quite a few of the papers are picking up on their back pages today. He's 36 at the minute, so back at Manchester United the first time in a while. Um, deal is expected to be worth something around 500 grand a week say some papers yeah. and he says he's, he's, he plans to play into his 40s he's got this ridiculously wow. rigorous regime where uh, you know no, nobody entirely knows but apparently he eats seven times a day very small oh deal. I knew there was something seven times a day right, yeah. all brought to him so it's you know very carefully calculated exactly what he eats and how he eats and he physically looks after himself so if anyone can go on into their 40s it's Christian it Ronaldo him. Um, it's um, 30 minutes past six. Um, let's talk about one of our main stories as well this week. A huge rescue operation is taking place in the U.S. state of Louisiana, which was struck by Hurricane Ida on Sunday. Uh, rescue workers and volunteers are using boats and aircraft to find people trapped by floods along the Mississippi River. Uh, our correspondent, Nader Torfik, has the latest from New Orleans. 